Good day everyone! There are three lessons that you are going to learn for today's session. First, visualizing percent and its relationship to fractions, ratios, and decimal numbers using models. Second, defining percentage, rate, and base. And the third one, identifying the base, percentage, and rate in a problem. To start with, I have here a problem. Let us read. Lavain correctly answered 91 items of the 100 basic facts in multiplication. What percent of the test did she get correctly? Now, take a look at this illustration. How many small squares are there in all? Yes, there are 100 squares. 100 squares represent the 100 items of the basic facts in multiplication. Next, how many shaded parts are there in all? Yes, very good. There are 91 shaded parts. The 91 shaded parts represent the 91 items of the test Lavain got correctly. Therefore, 91 out of 100 items or 91% of the test Lavain got correctly. Okay. So again, let us use this illustration to visualize fraction, ratio, decimal, and percent. Okay, by the way, what does percent mean? Percent means hundreds. It is written with the sign of percent. It is used to compare a number with 100. How about fraction? Fraction is a part of a whole or a group. Next is ratio. Ratio is a comparison of two quantities. And decimal can be defined as a number whose whole number part and the fractional part is separated by a decimal point. So how are we going to visualize this illustration using fraction form? So out of 100, there are how many shaded part? Yes, there are 91 shaded part over 100. Again, we'll read this as 91 over 100 or 91 hundredths. In ratio form, we are just going to write it as 91 is to 100. And in decimal form, it will become 91 hundredths or 0 0.91. While in percent form, you are just going to move the decimal point two decimal places to the right. Kung atin pong nakikita yung ating decimal uh, form, that is 0 0.91. So, ang gagawin natin yung decimal point sa pagitan ng, ng 0 at saka 9, yung point na yun, you are just going to move it to the right. Two, de two decimal places to the right. Okay, so magiging 91 or 91%. Again, imove lang natin yung decimal point na nasa pagitan ng 0 at saka 9. Imove natin ng dalawa papuntang kanan. Okay? Two decimal places pa kanan. So, magiging 91 na siya. So, magiging 91%. Yan po yung shortcut para gawing, um, decima, uh, gawing percent ang isang decimal number. So, kapag ang percent naman ginawa nating decimal number, ano po ang movement nun? Pakaliwa naman or moving two decimal places to the left naman. So, vice versa. Kung baga, kapag uh, percent ginawang decimal, move two decimal places to the left from the decimal point. Okay? Let's have another example. How are we going to... Visualize this or write this in fraction form, ratio, decimal, and in percent. In fraction form, as you can see in the illustration, how many, how many shaded parts are there? Yes, there are 16 shaded parts over or out of 100. So, 16 out of 100 or 16 over 100 or 16 hundredths. Now, kapag fraction, kailangan natin siyang isimplify always. Ano po? 
So, 16 over 100 ay isi-simplify natin kasi they still have common factor. So, we are just going to divide by their GCF. So, ano po ang GCF ng 16 and over 100? So, yun po ay 4. So, divide natin sila sa kanilang GCF na 4. 16 divided by 4, the answer is 4. 100 divided by 4, the answer is 25. So, 16 over 100, the simplest form is 4 over 25. In ratio form, you are just going to write it as 4 is to 25, or you can use the colon form. In decimal form, 16 over 100 will become 16 hundredths or 0 0.16. While in percent form, we are just going to move the decimal places from the decimal point. Nandoon sa, sa pagitan ng 0 at 1 yung decimal point. Imove natin ng 2 decimal places to the right. So, magiging 16%. Ma'am, paano po pag hindi over 100 ang figure or illustration or object? Paano po yun? Okay. Okay, narito po ang ating isang halimbawa. So, how are we going to visualize this or write this in fraction form, ratio form, decimal form, and percent form? So, as you can see in the illustration, there are how many shaded part? There are six shaded part out of eight Parts. So, the fraction is 6 over 8 or 6 eighths. Okay, and then, ang 6 over 8 is not yet in lowest term. Hindi pa siya nakasimplify. So, we are going to simplify this by dividing their GCF. So, ano po ang GCF ng 6 at 8? Yun po ay 2. Correct. So, 6 divided by 2, the answer is 3. 8 divided by 2, the answer is 4. So, 6 over 8, the simplest form is 3 fourths or 3 over 4. In ratio form naman, mabilis na lang po ito. You are just going to write the fraction form in ratio form. So, yung 3 is to 4. Okay? Uh, you may use colon form. So, ayan po siya. Let's go to decimal form. Kung ang fraction ay hindi over 100, katulad nitong 3 fourths na ito, Ano po ang gagawin natin? We can use the cross product rule that we use in proportion. So, paano yon? Ganito yon. 3 fourths times n over 100. Applying the cross product rule, um, we are going to multiply 3 times 100. The answer is 300. And then 300, i-divide natin sa 4. 300 divided by 4, the answer is 75. So, 3 fourths is equal to 75 over 100. So, ang 75 over 100, kapag ginawa natin decimal, magiging 0 0.75. In percent form naman, okay, so mabilis na lang po ito kasi uh, kapag decimal form at ginawa natin percent form, magmove lang tayo ng 2 decimal places to the right from the decimal point. So, pag nag-move tayo, ang 0.75 na ito, magiging 75 or 75%. Okay, let's try another example. What if you have these 12 apples and then you ate 3 green apples? Kinain mo yung tatlong green na apple. What is the fraction form? So, you have eaten 3 apples out of 12. Kinain mo yung tatlo doon sa 12 na apples. So, 3 over 12. As you can see, ang 3 over 12 ay hindi pa naka-lowest term o hindi pa naka-simplify. So, kailangan natin silang isimplify sa pamamagitan ng pag-divide sa kanilang greatest common factor na 3. So, 3 divided by 3, the answer is 1. 12 divided by 3, the answer is 4. So, 3 over 12, ang kanyang simplest form or lowest term ay 1 over 4 or 1 fourth. In ratio form naman, madali lang. You are just going to write 1 is to 4. Let's go to decimal form. Again, kapag ang fraction na hindi over 100, katulad ng 1 fourth na ito, we can use the cross product. Kagamitan natin ng cross product rule. 
So, 1 fourth times n over 100. So, ang gagawin natin, we are just going to multiply 1 times 100. The answer is 100. And then, 100 divided by 4. I divide natin sa 4 yung 100. 100 divided by 4, the answer is 25. So, n is equal to 25. So, 1 fourth is equal to 25 over 100. So, pag ginawa nating uh, decimal ang 25 over 100, magiging 0.25 or 0 0.25. Kapag ang decimal form naman, ginawa nating percent form. So, again, ang gagawin lang natin, move to decimal places to the right. So, magiging 25%. Okay, let's go to our next lesson which is all about defining percentage rate and base. So, how will you define percentage? Percentage is the part of the whole. In other words, ito po ay kaparte lang ng kabuuan ng percentage. And the symbol for percentage is P. How about rate? Rate is the number written with the word percent or with the symbol percent. And the base is the total or the whole, and it is the number that usually follows the phrase percent of. Okay, let's have this example. 25% of 2,000 pesos is 500 pesos. Which of these is percentage, rate, and base? Alin dito ang percentage, rate, at base? Let's start with the base. So, when we say base, it is the total or the whole. So, alin po dito ang total or the whole? Yes, very good. Yun po ay 2,000 pesos. Alin naman dito ang percentage? When we say percentage, it is part of the whole. Kaparte lang siya ng kabuuan. So, yun po ay 500 pesos. And of course, the rate, when we say rate, meron po siyang percent symbol. So, ang may percent symbol dito ay 25%. So, this is the rate. Let us continue identifying the base, rate, and percentage in the given problem. Okay, are you done? Let us check your answer. Okay, what is the base? The base is 5,000 pesos, correct? Next is, the rate is... 9% and of course the percentage is 450 pesos is your answer correct very good let's try another example there are 70 fruits in a basket 35 of them are oranges 50% of them are oranges are you done let us answer the base is 70 Percentage is 35 and the rate is 50%. Okay? Is your answer correct? Very good. Clap.